Hi there and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'd like to show you how to make a lovely card using an old playing card. Um, I know that in my household, gosh, my children used to lose cards all the time so we ended up with a lot of mismatched packs and this is quite a nice way to use it. So let me show you by deconstructing this how we're going to make it. I started off by just using an old exercise book cover. I have quite a lot of these, they're all just waste paper really. And when I've been stamping or doing something similar, I often just take the um, stamp and stamp it onto a piece of card so I can use it. Then I've got a stencil, which has just got really a lot of, lot of little circles on it. And I simply took that using some acrylic texture paste. And I have used the texture paste in a spatula just to simply spread onto the surface. I really want to push this through, so you need to put a bit of pressure behind this. Push it through the stencil. Don't worry if you make a mess because you are going to trim this. And you could cover the whole area or you could just do a section that you might like to use. Just make sure that it's fairly smooth. And then I'm going to just set this aside and leave it to dry. So that's how I create a nice sort of textured background and you can see that's very effective as it is almost a bit like a snowflake I think in some ways. So let me set that aside so that can dry in the meantime. The texture paste dries fairly quickly so you would want to make sure that you have a jar of water close by so that you are able to just put your stencils in there so that they don't get damaged while you are working. The next thing that you need to have is um, a playing card obviously and then you're wanting to have a serviette. Now serviettes, as you might know if you worked with them before, often are made up of several different layers. If you've never worked with them before, you will see that once you open them out, they either have two or three plies. So this one's got one, two, three layers here, like so. And we really only want to actually use the top layer for our design. And you can simply just then put your card underneath and see where you would like to be able to use this. I'm going to then stick this down onto a piece of card using a glue stick. Those are the nice dry glue sticks that the kids use at school because I find that that creates far less wrinkles than if you were to do it with a wet glue. The next step is then once my background paper, which I've just shown you how to do with the texture paste, once that's dry, I've trimmed down a piece so that I can stick it onto my card and I'm a great fan of double-sided tape. It makes really an easy process of the work. Then you want to cut a piece of white card slightly smaller than your base color and again on the back of that put some double-sided tape and I have used here just a little ink pad just to distress the edges of this a little bit so that it's not quite so stark. So that's my second part to it and here is my card which I've now got my bird image from my serviette or my napkin on. You can see it's the same. And I've also used my ink just to distress around the edge of that. I have also here put double-sided tape on and just I'm going to stick that onto there. So let's get cracking with that. And the double-sided tape is one of those things where you need to make sure that you get the edges stuck down really, really well. Because if the corners aren't stuck down, then you're going to find that the tape comes up with the backing once you start to lift it. I like to use this blade of my craft knife because it's got a sharp point and I don't often have very long fingernails because of craft work so um, this is, works for me but you could use whatever you use uh, normally and just carry on. So I'm going to place this fairly central in my square of white card and you can see there that it's been pressed down and it's nice and firm. Now I simply flip over the back and again, I'm going to repeat this by getting off the double-sided tape and then just sticking this onto the card itself. You could do a batch of these at a time because quite often with a serviette you'll get multiple images um, or multiple um, copies of the same design. And if you are somebody who does markets or sells your cards, it is a nice way to be able to use them. And now you can choose where you would like to position this. So I'm going to put this a little bit off center and down to the right. And here you can see another card that I've done, which is slightly off center as well. So there you've got two really, really lovely cards. 
Um, just using scraps of card that you have around your house, a little bit of imagination and a couple of serviettes. And I've taken on this particular one, because it had leaves, um, just to give it a bit of color, I've taken just a regular pencil crown and just colored in some of those leaves just to give it a little bit of an accent. It's not absolutely necessary to do it, but I just felt that the leaves on this particular one were a little bit lost. So I hope you have some inspiration and you'll be able to make some nice things. If you've enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for future videos. There are quite a lot of different craft projects. I don't only do cards, I do a multitude of different things. And I would love to have you as a member of my channel so that we can keep in contact. Put your comments down below or any ideas that you would like me to teach. I have a vast experience in teaching a lot of different crafts. So, I hope you enjoy making cards. I'd love to see some of your pictures. Bye for now.